So with Modern Warfare 2, they have, as you know, made a brand new gunsmith system. And because we're used to the old system, it can be a little bit confusing. However, with this video, I intend to clear everything up so you can just watch this and then be like, Oh, that's how it works. At least that's what I'm hoping for here. So if this video helped you out in any way, be sure to let me know down below in the comments as well as leaving this video a like and share it with a friend if you think it's helpful. Also be sure to subscribe and enable notifications. I'm starting to stream a lot more and you don't want to miss it, so make sure you do that. But let's jump into it. All right, so we're in the gunsmith now, and this is pretty much how it looked when I started playing Modern Warfare 2. And that was with the M4 selected. I didn't have any other guns unlocked. All other guns was locked. I only had the M4. And this is where the difference already begins with the new gunsmith. If we go ahead and go into the gunsmith of the M4 here, as you can see, I have it maxed out. I think it's a bug. We are in the beta. Uh, it says level 19, but I actually have it at... Uh, maxed out, I can't level it up any further. But if we go into the progression tab, all right, so we're in the progression tab now, and this is the weapon tree, and this is where it can look a little bit weird, but it's actually, but it actually makes sense, and it's relatively simple. So as I said before, I only had the M4 unlocked, everything else was locked. That makes sense now, because what I had to do was I had to level up the M4 to certain levels before other guns got unlocked. So if we go ahead and click on the M4, we can go ahead and see the different attachments that we get unlocked as we level up the gun. But if I just scroll down here, you can see that at attachment level 13, or when I reach level 13 on the M4, I should say, I unlock the F tag recon and so if we continue from there when i get the f tag recon all the way to level 16 i then unlock the fss hurricane now because this is a beta we only have these six weapons in this weapon tree but i assume as we get to their full release we'll have more weapons in this uh, progression tree and we can also see if i scroll up at level 18 that's when i unlocked the 556 icarus lmg and if we go ahead and continue, when I reached the, when I got the Icarus to level 13, I got to unlock the M16. So you may need to unlock certain weapons in order to get access to certain weapons. So if I from the very beginning knew, okay, I want the M16, then I can see in this tree what I need to unlock or what level I need to reach in the certain weapons in order to get to where I want to be. Now with that said, there might be some weapons that just unlock when you reach a certain player level, like I'm level 17 at the moment, um, but if we take a look at hover over the Fennec here, it says item unlocked at level 25. So I assume that will be some weapons that just get unlocked when you reach a several at a certain account level or a certain player level i should say but i don't know if that's just because we're in the beta or if that's going to change when the full release happens we'll have to wait and see now we're getting to the attachments and i switched over to the f tag recon that i managed to unlock yesterday and that's because the weapon is currently at level eight but as you can see when i hover over the laser here it says unlock by leveling f tag recon to level 14. so that's something new in the previous call of duties all the slots were open but the attachments were locked. But now we need to unlock the attachment slots in order to be able to use them. So the laser, for example, I can't attach any laser attachments on this gun unless I get the gun to level 14. And we can see that in the tree as well. If we take the underbarrel as an example, it says to get it to level 10. If we go to the progression tree and go to the F-Tag recon and go over to level 10 here, it doesn't actually give us any text in that box there. I think that's a bug. But when we reach level 10 here, that will unlock the ability for us to put an underbarrel on this gun. Now here comes the other thing that is brand new to this gunsmith, and that is you are able to now use attachments that you unlock from one gun on different guns so for example we got the we're back on the m4 here and if we go into the optics area i unlocked with the m4 the sz reflex and we can see that in the progression if i go to the m4 that was actually the first attachment i unlocked that was the sz reflex sight but if i then go over to my second loadout here and let's say i equip the lmg icarus right there we go no attachments on this thing yet but if i go to the optic you can see that I have the SC reflex available. But if I go into the progression of the Icarus, that site isn't actually on the attachment tree of the Icarus. So as you unlock attachments, you'll be able to use them on your different weapons. However, it's not all attachments, which makes sense. But as an example here, with the Icarus, I unlocked the F-Tag Cold Forge 16 inch barrel. And if I go to the barrel here, we got it right here, the F-Tag Cold Forge 16 inch barrel. But if I go back to my first loadout here, where I have my M4 and I go to the barrel, it's not actually here. And that's because that barrel is probably only going to be working on LMG guns. However, if we take another attachment from the M4, like the 11.5 inch 
TH4 barrel and I go ahead to my second loadout and in assault rifles I go ahead and select the M16, I'm able to equip that barrel. So I'm able to use a barrel that I unlocked from the M4 on my M16. Now like I said before, it might not be all attachments that will work for all different guns. Like for example, if we go into the barrels here, I have four available barrels out of all the barrels I can unlock. But if I go back to my M4, I got a lot more options here. So I guess it's going to depend on what type of gun it is and also if that if that attachment is actually going to fit that gun. But that is essentially it for the new gunsmith. Everything else is the same. We got the, the pros and cards over here. We got the damage and the fire rate, like all the all the lines here telling us how the weapon is doing in terms of those stats. We got a maximum of five modifications, just like Modern Warfare 1 and Cold War 1. Now, this is the only thing that I'm a little bit confused about. It is essentially the gun body, but all it does, I'll give an example here. I currently have the M4 selected. If I select the Icarus body, it just switches to the Icarus weapon. So I don't really know what this is for. And then of course, as a final thing, customized, we still got camos, charms, decals, and stickers. In fact, I got a beta sticker here, which I'm gonna put out there. There we go, looking nice. But that's essentially it for the brand new Gunsmith. I hope that made sense, and I hope it was helpful. If it was, be sure to leave it a like, helps out the channel a ton, and I hope to see you on the battlefield. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye.